What's up guys, today's song is going to be Lost Stars by Adam Levine. This one's a nice simple song and it's based around a great chord we call the F major 7. If you're brand new to guitar, make sure to check out my free beginner crash course here. Everyone else, make sure to check out my top 10 steps to mastering the guitar free training in the description below this video. With that said, let's get into it. Okay, so starting with our part played in our intro and our verse. And that's all there is to it. This one's going to be really simple. So we're on an F major 7 chord. And our strumming pattern is going to be... So down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down. And that's all there is to it for this section. So you just repeat that on that F major 7 for the entire intro and the verses. Okay, so now moving on to our pre-chorus. There we go. So there is the pre-chorus. You can see that the strumming pattern is identical to the intro and the verse, and our chords have just changed a little bit. So to start off, we're going to alternate one bar each on an E minor, and then back to our F major 7. So... So you're going to do that, and you're going to go back and forth between those two three times. Once more. And then you're going to play G for two bars to finish that off. And that is all there is to it for the pre chorus. All right, so now to end off, here's going to be the part played for the choruses and the bridge. All right, so there is the full section. So for this one, we've got a slight change up of our strumming pattern. Instead of our normal and then just hold, we're gonna add an extra upstroke and downstroke at the end there. So there's just that extra up, down at the very end. So there's your strumming pattern right there. It's the same as the other sections, just with that added up and down. So we're gonna do F major seven to C, and we're gonna do that twice. Then continuing on, we're gonna do F major seven to E minor. And then to end off, our last three chords are going to be D for two bars, D minor for one bar, and then end on a G for one bar. Put that all together, and there is your chorus. Now the last thing to note is there are some slight variations in the order of the chords in the different choruses and bridges, 
but just check out the chords and lyrics in the description below to follow along with that and figure out where they all are. They're just slight changes. This is the main rhythm, but each chorus or bridge has a slightly different variation. And with those parts, you can play this entire song. And there you go, there's the whole song. Please make sure to hit that thumbs up button and say hi in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my newest uploads and you learn guitar a lot faster. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.